Hi, my name is, is Marvin Voida, and I uh, am glad to talk to you today. The district has asked me to respond to some questions. And I'm going to respond out of my experience in, a, in the particular local church that I've served in for over 31 years, uh, Elam Church here in Saskatoon. I understand that every ministry setting is unique, and yet, you know, there are situations that arise among leadership that have some common elements. And over the years, you kind of figure out that there's some good practices. And what I want to share is, of course, not definitive for every situation and every setting, but I hope maybe these few words that I share are helpful for your leadership to discuss some best practices in your particular setting. So here was the question that was posed to me. How can we facilitate the end of a pastor's employment? Oh my, that is a big topic. I think it needs to be divided maybe into two separate responses. Uh, first of all, what, what if that's the lead pastor? And then what if, what if it's a staff member? So let me just begin with the case of a lead pastor. In the case of a lead pastor, the board, of course, needs to follow the process that is provided for in the bylaws. There's in our church bylaws, there's some real clarity around how that can happen. Now, where there has been behavior where the pastor's credentials have been taken by the district, then the pastor's employment actually comes to an end. It's really out of the uh, board's hands. Uh, the pastor resigns and the board is then into, into another process. Where the lead pastor's employment uh, needs to come to a close, but there has not been a credential issue, it's really important that there be documented performance reviews that clearly have stated expectation, uh, have stated uh, corrective, corrected course of action that was anticipated, all of those kinds of things. And a church board must act with great care towards the lead pastor and ensure that employment standards, of course, are not violated in bringing the employment of a pastor to an end. In the case of a staff member where supervisors see the need for a necessary ending, it also, it's very difficult. It's always got lots of emotions attached to it. And there's often conflict in the midst of it, but it can be done. I would recommend what has for us been a very good resource. It's a book by Henry Cloud called Necessary Endings. That book is helpful in thinking through and often if it's a supervisor or maybe a group of people who will be bringing uh, somebody's employment to a necessary ending. They can read the book together and gain the wisdom of Dr. Henry, Henry Cloud. The process that results in an employee's dismissal or transition out of the organization should never be taken lightly. It should never be done hastily, uh, except under certain extreme uh, circumstances. In fact, I would say that much effort and prayer and concern and care should go into working with that staff member to see them thrive in their ministry, if at all possible. If that proves to be unfruitful, then be sh very sure that the process has these elements. Number one, it's prayerfully considered. Secondly, that it is fair, that it is compassionate, and that it is generous. It also needs to include consultation with other godly leaders. It perhaps needs some consultation with legal counsel and support for the supervisor who is engaging in that process. When you think about the legal ramifications, of course, it's an employee-employer relationship. Be very diligent to comply with labor law. As well, I think it's really helpful that the employee is able to finish with a face-to-face -face exit conversation that includes an observer or a witness. Now, sometimes that may not be possible, but where it's possible, uh, it should be done. And then it should be completed with an agreement where both sides sign off on that agreement. And again, sometimes uh, that is not possible. Where it is possible, uh, make sure that that happens. Well, these are these are, of course, conversations that really require a whole lot of thought and prayer and direction, but perhaps just the beginning, as I have shared these few things, I trust that they're helpful and uh, 
there are others who can maybe help in that conversation. If you would think that I could be further, a further help in the conversation, don't hesitate to contact me at uh, Elam Church here in Saskatoon.